Picture this, you wake up tomorrow to the surprise of an additional $5,500 in your bank account. Not once, but on a monthly basis. Do you think it's just a dream? This goal may be within reach for millions of people who receive SSDI and Social Security benefits. Outrageous legislation that would dramatically alter the American retirement system is now being considered by lawmakers in Congress. Make sure you tune in. Because I'm about to explain this revolutionary strategy that has lawmakers in a frenzy and might result in monthly windfalls of thousands of dollars for you. Give me 10 minutes, and I'll explain everything. Greetings and salutations and thank you for returning to Stimulus Updates, the channel where you can find the most recent information regarding. Stimulus programs, I'm Ali, and I'm here today to tell you about some great news. We have some shocking news, it is shaking the nation's capital and may affect millions of Americans greatly. Speculation has it that Congress is debating an astounding plan to increase monthly benefits for all SSDI and Social Security users by $5,500. $5,500 a month. Now before. We go into the specifics of this legislation that might change the game. Let's reframe the situation and examine the background. A lot of people are aware that disability and Social Security benefits have been a contentious topic for a long time. As a result of the surpassing of benefit changes by increasing inflation and cost of living, many recipients are finding it difficult to make ends meet. The typical monthly Social Security payout in 2023 was around $1,827. It was considerably lower for SSDI recipients, coming in at roughly $1,483. Although these amounts are vital, they do not often meet basic living needs, particularly in places with high costs. Here we have a revolutionary new proposal. Legislators from both parties have reportedly been secretly drafting a bill to radically reform the social security system, according to Capitol Hill insiders. Regardless of their present benefit level, all participants would receive a flat $5,500 monthly increase as the centerpiece of their plan. I can hear you now, this seems too wonderful to be real. And your skepticism is well-founded. This would be a huge leap forward in terms of benefits surpassing everything that has come before. But before we write it off completely, let's analyze the information we have. Both SSDI and Social Security retirement benefits would be affected by the idea. The $5,500 boost would be distributed evenly to all beneficiaries, regardless of their present benefit level. Because it would be a flat increase. The raise wouldn't be a one-and-done deal, it would be permanent. It would be phased in over the course of five years. The predicted price tag is in the multi-trillion dollar range. Allow me to delve further into each of these topics as we examine the possible consequences and debates around this plan. Let us start with the extent of the growth. Over 70 million Americans would be impacted by this idea as it pertains to both Social Security retirement and disability benefits. It's more than 20% of the total population in the United States. You can't put a price on the magnitude of this change. Now we can discuss the flat increase. To some extent, this is the part of the proposal that has generated the most debate. If everyone got the same $5,500 bump, it would help those with lower benefits more than others. The benefits of someone receiving $1,000 per month, for instance, would grow by 550%, while those of someone receiving $3,000 per month by 183%. The idea's proponents say it would give everyone a fair shot at a livable wage and level the playing field. On the other hand, some think it's unfair to people who have contributed more to the system over the years. Hey there, supporter. This is all about making sure our elderly and disabled individuals can live with respect and stability financially. No one's fundamental needs should be out of reach, especially after a lifetime of hard labor. Admittedly, I do think that benefits should be raised, but this level playing field fails to take into account the efforts of those with greater incomes. It's basically a huge program to redistribute money. Another important aspect is that the growth is permanent. This would permanently alter the social security system, unlike previous stimulus payments or short-term increases to benefits. It's a daring step, but it shows that some politicians are coming to the conclusion that little reforms won't cut it when it comes to the serious financial problems that many Americans are facing. Possibly the most important question about this proposition now arises from this. How are we ever going to cover the cost of it? Payroll taxes are the main source of revenue for. Social security, as you may be aware. Both employees and businesses are currently required to pay 6.2% of wages and taxes, with a cap of $160,200 in 2023. The trust funds used by the program are likewise expected to run dry by 2034 if nothing is done. To pay for this enormous rise in benefits, 
a number of significant changes are supposedly part of the proposal. These include shifting funds from defense to social security, raising the payroll tax rate to 7.5% for workers and businesses, creating a wealth tax for those with net worth more than $50 million, and doing away with the wage cap altogether. These financing strategies are, as you might expect, rather divisive. Their detractors say they will put an unfair pressure on companies and top earners while stunting economic growth. Those in favor argue that this is a vital measure to combat increasing income disparity and guarantee social security sustainability in the future. Although the intentions behind this idea are commendable, it may have significant economic consequences. Huge increases in both taxes and government spending are on the table. It has the potential to radically alter the American economy in ways nobody can foresee. Now we may discuss the possible consequences of this plan if it were passed into law. Millions of Americans would feel the profound and far-reaching changes. Having a comfortable middle-class salary would be a game-changer for seniors who rely only on Social Security. It has the potential to make long-sought-after changes to housing, healthcare, and quality of life more affordable for seniors. The effect may be far more noticeable for those who get SSD benefits, from medical bills, to the price of specialized equipment and services, many people with disabilities incur additional costs as a result of their problems. For a community that frequently faces poverty, this benefit increase might mean actual financial stability and autonomy. It's been years since I had to choose between food and my prescriptions. Thanks to this raise, I will be able to save for my retirement rather than merely get through it. I can hardly fathom it. Until we meet again, remember to focus on your future and your money. Thank you for tuning in.